if the PNM is successful in the Toko Sangre Grande region in the local government elections, there are big plans to develop the district. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley maintained last evening that there are several plans for the development of the Toko Sangre Grande, including the construction of a port and a ferry service to Tobago. He also reminded the people of plans to build a highway to ensure easy access to that part of the country. He was speaking last evening with supporters during a PNM meeting in Kumuto, Manzanilla. Mahalia Joseph has more. Not keep supporters from listening to the Prime Minister, ministers and local government candidates on Thursday. With their umbrellas in hand, they listened as Dr. Rowley spoke of the construction of the highway in Kumuto, Manzanilla that was supposed to start in 2010. However, after the party lost the general election, the then People's Partnership government did nothing. Would you believe that they spent billions of dollars in all kinds of ways and the one project which was aimed to bring San Grande close to national development, for five years you had the five largest budgets ever spent by any government in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. But Sangre Grande, you were left out and left behind. Taking the current MP, Christina Wala Hussein, to task for underperformance, Dr. Rowley asked voters to support the PNM representatives in the election. As it stands, the PNM has five seats in the Toko Sangre Grande Regional Corporation, with the UNC holding three. So you know what? Since the MP now and for the next four years is a useless MP, you, the people of Komuto Manzanilla, will be served by the PNM's councillor. The PNM's councillor. He will take the responsibility. So when you go to the polls, Komuto Manzanilla, Komuto Tamana, you are not only voting on this time for a local government representative. Look for the name Bagalu, look for the Balize, and you're voting to help you out with parliamentary representation as well. He said there are new plans for the collection of land and building tax for the region in 2017. And you will collect that money from all property owners, and instead of sending that money to Port of Spain, and wait to get it back at some later stage, you collect it and you spend it as you see fit right here in San Grande on your issues. And of course, you will get additional monies from the central government to bring you up to level, to provide for you not just the basic, but beyond the basic services that you need. They intended to give the corporation the responsibility of managing the social welfare programs as well as to maintain an employment register to assist those who need work. Mahalia Joseph, C News. Former Komuto Tamana UNC councillor Rajkumar Bagalu, who crossed the floor to the PNM, was present at the party's public meeting on Thursday night in Sangre Grande. Mr. Bagalu said the UNC treated him like a reject and he was in a strong UNC seat. I tell them, on November the 28th, the stone that the builders reject shall be the headquarters stone when we bring victory to Komodo Tamada and Vega de Oropuch. He will represent his electoral district once again but under a different party. Mr. Bagalu believes he can better serve the people as a PNM councillor. When I first spoke to the Honorable Prime Minister and political leader of the People's National Movement, the Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, I was in awe. I wanted to know, is this the Prime Minister you are speaking to? The man was so drunk to hurt. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have been feeling in the People's National Movement. I'm sorry I didn't do it before.